Hello, I'm Professor Holy Smokey. You might remember me from such videos as The Reproductive System, Oh My, or The Digestive System, It's What's for Dinner. Today, we will be learning about non-specific body defenses. Right now, there are millions of germs and floating debris floating around you right now, but you cannot see them. Have you ever wondered what keeps germs from affecting our body's homeostasis? So have I. Our non-specific body defenses help keep germs at bay, and they're working 24 hours a day. They are the mechanical barriers that cover our body. The line of defense is skin and mucous membrane. As long as the skin is unbroken, its keratinized epidermis is a strong physical barrier to most microorganisms that swarm on the skin. Intact mucous membranes provide similar mechanical barriers within the body. You dropped your... You dropped it. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Great combo. Another day's work. The body's second line of defense is an enormous amount of cells and chemicals. Natural killer cells police the body in blood and lymph. They kill cancer cells and virus infected body cells well before the immune system is enlisted in the fight. I will they cut can act spontaneously you. against any target. They are not phagocytic. Pathogens that make it through the mechanical barriers are confronted by phagocytes in nearly every body organ. And my god! How long is this gonna take? This room sucks! It totally needs a makeover. A phagocyte engulfs a foreign particle much the way an amoeba ingests a food particle by enclosing it in a vacuole. Eventually, the particle is broken down or digested. The phagocyte usually looks fabulous while doing it. The inflammatory response is triggered whenever body tissues are injured. It occurs in response to physical trauma, intense heat, and irritating chemicals as well as infection by viruses and bacteria. The four cardinal signs are redness, heat, swelling, and pain. The inflammatory response prevents the spreading of damaging agents to nearby tissues, disposes of cell debris and pathogens, and sets the stage for repair. Within an hour or so after the inflammatory process has begun, neutrophils are squeezing through the capillary walls, a process called diapodesis. The neutrophils begin the cleanup detail by engulfing damaged or dead tissue cells and or pathogens. Monocytes begin to leave the bloodstream and follow the neutrophils into the inflamed area. Monocytes are fairly poor phagocytes. They become macrophages with insatiable appetites, and they replace the neutrophils on the battlefield. The body's most important antimicrobial chemicals, apart from those produced in the inflammatory reaction, are complement proteins and interferon. Complement proteins intensify the inflammatory response, while interferons protect uninfected tissue cells from viral takeover 
and mobilize the immune system. Fever is also considered to be a nonspecific protective response. Her fever is 109. <gasps> I'm sweating profusely. Ew. At first, the immune response was thought to be purely protective. However, it was not long before its dangerous potentials were discovered. Allergies, or hypersensitivities, are abnormally vigorous immune responses in which the immune system causes tissue damage as it fights off a perceived threat that would otherwise be harmless to the body. People rarely die of allergies. They are just miserable with them. <coughs> allergies! <coughs> Today you have learned about the body's nonspecific defenses and how they help to keep our body safe from pathogens. You have also learned about allergies, a disorder of immunity. Please join me next time when we learn about the urinary system. Is that me or is it raining? Bye! Bye.